Today, I'm going to show you an easy hack that allows you to mount EMT conduit to any flat surface. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Dave. If you're new here, we like sharing creative uses for ordinary materials so you can finish your DIY projects. We share how-tos, tips and tricks, build inspiration. So if you like that, definitely consider subscribing. We're talking about how to mount EMT conduit to a flat surface. It could be a wall, a ceiling, a tabletop. How do you get this done? The community has come up with some really great solutions and they all center around the threaded pipe flange. You can get this locally at your hardware store. It's a cast iron piece that has threads in the middle and then four holes that you can bolt to pretty much any flat surface. This is meant to be used with galvanized pipe, which has threads on the end of the pipe. EMT conduit doesn't have that, so we're gonna have to adapt this to use the two things together. There's actually five different ways that I'm gonna show you to get this done. And you wanna stick around to the last one because it is really cool. It is a hack that allows you to strengthen this even more. The first one is super simple. It's taking three quarter inch EMT conduit and then simply basically threading it in to the pipe flange, just like that. Uh, believe it or not, the, it fits, it fits pretty good and it's fairly tight. Is this gonna work in all applications? No, but it's a great start. You're ready to mount this and start building off of it. The second and third ones are using off the shelf adapters that you can find at any local hardware store. These are electrical items. They're meant to go into like a junction box and adapt from a junction box to a piece of EMT conduit like that, and electricians use them all the time. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take them and we're gonna thread them right into the, the pipe flange. And we're kind of mixing worlds here. This is plumbing, this is electrical, but believe it or not, it fits pretty good. This one is the compression pipe flange, which is number two. And you can see it has a ring that compresses around the EMT conduit as you tighten down this collar right here. So you, you leave that pretty loose, you slide the EMT conduit in and there's pretty good engagement. It goes down all the way to here and then you're just gonna tighten down on this collar. It cinches down on the pipe. And we've seen this in a lot of community builds. We've seen it on truck racks and all kinds of different builds. So uh, we know it works pretty good. That's the compression fitting. Now, just like the compression fitting, you've got the set screw fitting. Here it threads beautifully into the pipe flange and you have a set screw that goes right into the side. This comes with the, uh, the connector. And then just like the compression one, you can put the piece of conduit in there, tighten down on the set screw. It really does a great job holding on to it. Uh, now the engagement is a little bit less. The pipe goes down to about here, uh, but that's super strong. And again, at the end, I'm gonna show you a way to even strengthen this more. Now, if you wanna do the set screw, that's quick and easy, but check this out. If you get a self-tapping screw and run that into that hole, you've got this hole ready to go. Run a self-tapping screw, bites right into the conduit. I bet that's gonna be even stronger of a connection. One thing that I definitely wanna mention when you're buying these fittings is uh, there's two kinds that you're gonna see. You're gonna see a stamped steel version that's gonna be shinier. And then you're gonna see a duller cast metal version. Who knows what this is cast out of? I don't think it's as strong or high quality. So definitely go for the steel version. That's gonna be better for you. Another thing to point out is you can also do this with half inch EMT. The same connectors are available for half inch EMT. This is a set screw fitting that we found at our local hardware store. And if you get the half inch threaded flange, it goes in beautifully. You can tighten it down and then you've got a half inch EMT flange as well. Number four is a community hack that was just shared uh, by Axel in video. He's got a YouTube channel, we'll link that, definitely check it out. But what he did is he took a little bit smaller threaded pipe flange, which is the half inch version. And then he got this, oh, it's really on there. He got this nipple, which is a, a steel pipe nipple uh, half inch galvanized pipe. And what he's doing, he's taking that and then putting it on the inside of three quarter inch EMT. So you can screw it down pretty good, pretty far. He gave it a little bit 
more of a tap, he hammered it in. Then he drilled through both the conduit and the steel nipple and then put in a pin right across. Really cool idea. I hadn't seen that before and I think it worked just great. So that's number four. And then number five, as promised, I think is the coolest of them all because it's a way to strengthen the first three. First thing you do is take a threaded nut insert that we sell on the site and put it into the piece of conduit. You're gonna push this in or hammer this in so you get that set. And then either you take method one, two, or three. I'm gonna show you where you just thread that on. Now you've got a mounting point on the other side that we're gonna to use to hold them both together. Uh, and here I have a, a fender washer that sits really conveniently down in that pocket on the flange. And then a countersunk bolt that reaches down through and then engages that threaded nut insert. And then take your Allen wrench, get that in there, run it down, make sure the washer is centered, tighten down. And what that's doing is it's actually pulling the piece of conduit into the flange, preventing it from coming out and you still get to mount it flat against a, a piece of wood or the wall. Uh, what a great idea. I think that one is a way that you can strengthen this method or you're using the compression fitting or the set screw fitting. Either one of those will work. I think it's a great hack. I wanna thank everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. We had a great time making it. If you wanna see us do strength testing on this, see how strong these actually are, let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear what you think. Thanks everyone for tuning in. We'll see you next time.